Hey everybody, it is Taylor of Summer Del Sol here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm working on my fuel lines, and I should also mention I have the hiccups. Today is the only day I can record voiceover, so you're going to have to bear with me. So here you can see I'm connecting the rubber hoses to the fuel tank, and eventually this is going to connect to my fuel filter as well. Thank you to the wonderful cross-threaded once again for supplying just very pertinent information with a great sense of humor. <laughs> Once you get those rubber hoses on, you're going to want to get these metal tighteners on so you can make sure that hose isn't going anywhere. Get those nice and tight. So after you get those nice and snug, you're going to want to install these little valves that go into the hose. And a really neat trick that I figured out was actually using a little bit more leverage with the fuel filter installed on it. You have a little more wiggle room to work with, so you have some good leverage there. Once again, once you have that on, tighten the fastener. You'll repeat the same process on the other side. Here, unfortunately, I was being stubborn as per usual and tried to get this on without using the fuel filter. <laughs> but I got it on there nonetheless. Once you have everything plugged up correctly and you know which one is your feed in your return line, you can plug up your fuel system. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's too short. Oh, no. Well, while I have so much slack up front, I'm going to try and work on getting these connected to the engine. For reference, I'm going to be removing that fuel pressure regulator, and this is kind of where it sits. I'll start by removing these bolts to take this off and unplug it as well. There's also another thing we'll need to connect it to up front as well. Technically, I should be removing this, but I'm going to have a little work around here. Also, I think my hiccups are gone. So right now I'm working on that hose below the fuel pressure regulator. I'm trying to remove the clips that are keeping that hose clamped on, and that'll free that from the rest of the system. With the hose released from the bottom, I can work on the two bolts up top. Once those bolts are removed, it did take a little bit of wiggling, as per usual, to get this out. So just be gentle with it, remove this, unplug that hose, and once that's free, you can connect that new hose to it. Et voila, there it is. Pull that out and you're ready for reassembly. Here's the hose removed. Hose wrangling montage coming right up. Hose removed, it's time for the finest continental hose to be installed. It is so extra. All right, with these two on, it's time to install the metal valve. More montage and less ASMR, please. I did it! Once you're all set with the new hose, you're going to want to reinstall that fuel pressure regulator. Well, that's just snug as a bug. With that in place, you can now frustratingly twist your fancy new fuel line into place. That's on there. That's one line connected. In theory, that's the return line. I'm going to set it up as is. Okay, so ratchet hot take. Instead of removing the intake manifold, I just snipped the old hose and left a little bit of slack. You're gonna wanna give a little bit more room than you expect. Gross part off. Yeah, it didn't disconnect very easily, so I assume that I'll be okay for now. Once again, this is a very quick and dirty build. I don't recommend doing this, but it did grant me access a little faster than I would have gotten it. All right, now with both these sketchy and legitimate lines now connected, I am ready to move these bad boys back. With both of these unable to connect, I unfortunately had to undo the entire system underneath the car. Which unfortunately meant I had to do some spider shoeing after lifting the car. Not ideal. Here you can see the beautiful setup I had to unfortunately undo dodging spiders as I went. With the lines loosened up, I was nicely able to pull these guys back. Up you go! Alright, that looks much better. With those being able to cooperate much more freely, I am ready to tighten these back down. And now I have plenty of room for these connections back here. It is so much spacier. Next I'm going to be tackling mounting the tank 
It's got a few quirks, so stick around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and following along. I really appreciate it. I won't stop saying it. Thank you so much. And I will catch you next time. To two of the show stars, Michelle Dockery and Jake Martel. So stick around to the end of the episode to hear that conversation. Goodbye!